Hello FCS 2250 computer application students to our orientation tutorial. As I mentioned in the welcome message, please stay with, stay with me from the beginning to the end. We're going to cover some very important topics. I want to make sure everybody is successful in this course. We are all going to get an A, I promise you. So let's go ahead and from the very beginning, stick with me. I know this may be a bit of a longer tutorial, but it will be very important for us to be successful in the course. Uh, as I mentioned in the welcome message, this is... Uh, uh, course that's set up as my master shell. All right. And I'm actually doing it for my summer one course that's going to start here in May uh, within a couple weeks. So my dates may be a little bit different. My assignments may be a little bit different. But basically, I'm taking you to locations uh, on our e-learning or e-learning portal, if I can get that out, uh, that's going to be very important for you to be successful in the class. Let's let's start with one of those examples. So one of the very, uh, very most important things or one of the most important things uh, you're going to want to utilize is your calendar. So important. So if I go to the calendar, uh, you may have yours uh, by the month. Sometimes I like to click on the list. All right. And it lists when all of these are due. All right. So again, you may be looking at these dates saying, well, well, we're not in May. Uh, I'm in uh, uh maybe September or October or something like that. Obviously, again, this is a very generic video. You're going to want to look at when your due dates are, okay, for each section. But probably really important is I'm going to jump back to this month, and we're in April right now. And in May here, you can see that my assignments I pretty much have due on Fridays, except for if my exam has to be done by a specific date and our final exams have to be done in this case for my summer one course by june 30th you are definitely going to want to make it a note of that i have a lot of students that get so accustomed to that friday by 10 p.m and don't realize their final exam is due by wednesday so make sure you take a note of that maybe write that down uh, or put it on your phone calendar whatever resource that you use to be successful make sure that you uh are aware of that and we'll come and we'll talk more about these assignments later another very important link is your grades you're going to want to look at your grades on a weekly basis please uh, and if there's any discrepancies you need to let me know right away all right so as i will mention in the syllabus your introductory activities the activities that are going to be due the first week of class are going to be five percent of your grade we want to make sure we rock and roll right from the very beginning from our introductory email to our syllabus quiz then we have our serious assignments and these are all the assignments here these are 70 percent of your overall grade if i keep scrolling down you're gonna eventually well i can try to scroll down my mouse stopped on me uh, we will have our oral communication which is a big part of this course our digital and oral communication component that's 10 percent of your overall grade and then your final exam being 15 percent of your overall grade all right so take a look at it if at any time your grade is inaccurate you think you should have a different grade hey let me know uh, I really appreciate that. What I hate is, one of my pet peeves is, when people wait to the end of the semester and say, hey, Mr. Lang, that word, section one exam, I got this on it. It's not coming up in the grade book. Well, that was eons ago. So let's go ahead and make sure that we look at that on a weekly basis and let me know. I'm going to jump back into our course home and go over some of the important links right here on the homepage. And that is, first of all, if, uh, and hopefully we are done with this and we don't have to worry about this anymore, but the uh, daily COVID-19 health survey, all right, if you need to take that health survey, make sure that you take it. And I'm not going to continue on any further, but there is a link for that. All right. Your syllabus, very important link. Now I'm going to go, not going to go through this entire syllabus. I'm not going to read through everything. Let me try to blow this up a little bit here. Uh, but obviously I am in your, I am your instructor. One of the most important, one of the things I shouldn't say most important, but one of the things that are important, I'm a uh, an adjunct professor. I, I am not a full-time teacher, so I don't have an office nor an office hours, all right? But email, I tell you what, I will do my best to respond to your email within a day, uh, and we will work together. Sometimes we do like video chats together, maybe during WebEx or a Zoom video or something like that, so that way we can get things uh, all cleared up. But you can kind of look at this time requirement, and this is kind of a, a baseline information. You can look at the course description, 
our learning outcomes, how the course is delivered, some required resources. I'm going to go over that a little bit more in a little bit. Some computer requirements, uh, daily delivery, free technical support advice, our COVID-19 precautions. Hopefully we're out of it at this time, but until then we will have this in our syllabus. Uh, and some standard academic honesty, uh, some Western Michigan University sexual misconduct policy, uh, religious observance policies. We have links to all of these. These are things that we just need to have in our syllabus to make sure that we follow all of our basis. All right. So like further on down the road here, you're going to see where I talk about my late work policy. Late work will not be accepted accepted. All assignments will be due by Friday evenings at 10 p.m. At 10.01, those assignments that week will not be available anymore. But stick with me. I am going to give you some information that you may like uh, in a little bit. All right. You can also read more of that. My work submission, you can see the different assignments there and then how things are broken down. We kind of talked about this before our serious 75% our inter, excuse me 70% introductory activities five uh, our final exam is 15 and our video or digital oral communication is worth 10%. You can look at the grade breakdown here and uh, and go from there. All right, so that is our syllabus. If you have any questions on it, please let me know. Now I will tell you this you will have a syllabus quiz that we'll talk about in a little bit. I would highly suggest to have your syllabus open while you take that syllabus quiz. Have it open, look at it, answer the questions on the quiz, look through the syllabus a little bit more, answer some more questions. There shouldn't be any trick questions on my syllabus quiz. It's all based on the syllabus. Textbook purchase. Yes, you will need a, a textbook purchase for this class. Not necessarily the textbook, but what we need is the Cirrus access code. All right. That's very important. All right. You'll have that for 180 days. All right. And so there is the uh, I, I gave a link to the website version or a print package where they'll actually send you a book. It's a little bit more. But truthfully, again, we don't really use the textbook. We utilize their Cirrus platform where we go into their portal and actually opens up uh, on a web-based Excel application or a web-based access application or a web-based PowerPoint uh, application. So we really just need that Cirrus code and this will take you through the process. They'll email you that code right away and then you will uh, activate your Cirrus account, which I will talk about further in this orientation. With that, with no further ado, I'm going to give you my first keyword that you're going to need as part of your 30 points for your introductory assignments. And that first keyword is coffee. Oh, I can't start my morning off without my coffee. Got to have the coffee. So that is our first keyword, but stick with me. There will be more. I promise you that. So sometimes we may need to meet via WebEx and I may say, hey, here's my WebEx. Let's meet at this time uh, and you can join me via WebEx. Sometimes you're going to be in a class that actually is hybrid where we'll be meeting via WebEx. This is the link that you will use to get to my class's video conference. All right. Here's another uh, link here just for WebEx. Now I say login. I probably need to change that because they changed the, the, the site. All right. And here you can go and get more information about WebEx meetings, uh, getting started with WebEx. And this is kind of where <clears throat> I first had this uh, going to, but they kind of changed their links. Well, it's the internet, right? So actually talking about logging into WebEx using your first name dot last name at Western Michigan University and those types of things. It's going to redirect you to an authentication page. You're probably going to have to put in your Bronco Net ID, which mine is B4Lang. I'm not going to give you my password, but they'll ask you for that. Then you can download the Cisco web application. That's what I actually have. I downloaded that. So uh, again, another great valuable resource for WebEx because there will be times and you may be in a class where we do have to talk via WebEx. Another link here is I highly suggest the engineers from Paradigm, which is the makers of Cirrus, is that they recommend using Google Chrome. All right. They all their engineers have used Google Chrome there. That's the platform that they tested it on. I will have so many students say, hey, this won't work. This link won't work. And my first question is, are you using Google Chrome? No, I am not. I bet you that will help. And it does. So they really recommend 
downloading and using Google Chrome for uh, this class. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another thing that you're going to want, want to look at is your network speed test. We are all using different networks, okay? Some of you may be uh, living in a, uh, 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 in a, uh, Oh my gosh, why is my mind blank? Uh, in an apartment complex, my goodness, Mr. Lang, it's been a long day. You may be living in an apartment complex where a lot of people are sharing maybe uh, the internet and your speeds may be really low. The, uh, the engineers recommend between 40 and 50 megabytes per second download. So you can test yours. Now I'm at school right now. Uh, and so mine is probably going to be, well, it's not as high as I thought. I thought my download was going to jump way up, but uh, I'm at about 30 megabytes per second here download uh, and so actually uh, that this is kind of my home network speed as well as I get rid of between 30 and 40 and the Sears platform works great but for some reason they do recommend having around um, 40 to 50 megabytes per second download speed. So, but again, I have been able to successfully use it. So if your speeds are really low, I've had some students with two or three download megabytes per second and uh, things just don't load for them. It doesn't work right. You may have to go to a different network. What do I mean by that? You may have to go to a local library. You may have to go to Western and use their Wi-Fi. That, that's kind of what I'm meaning by that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Check out your network speed test. And actually, you'll be responsible to give me some of that data in one of your first assignments. If you ever have any tech help, you guys, Man, these guys and gals are great at the Technology Help Center. If your computer ever needs help, if you ever need software, I actually have uh, my email going right to my phone. I've always needed them to help me with this exchange system uh, that, that confuses me every time, but they always help me. They are a great resource. If you ever need them, they're there. Paradigm or Cirrus Paradigm. Now, again, this is the manufacturer. Uh, and behind my video here, I got to maybe move my video. There is a chat right there. And uh, maybe you need some order assistance for the material or technical assistance uh, right here. They'll ask you your name and stuff like that, maybe what school you are going to. And uh, uh, they are great help to get you through. I will tell you this, whenever there's a problem, I usually ask my students, hey, did you reach out to Cirrus Technical? help because they're the engineers if something's wrong with an assignment uh, they're the ones that are really good at getting you going so instead of emailing me and waiting 24 hours to possibly get an email back from me again that's my goal uh, contact these guys and gals they they respond fairly quickly and they can navigate you and get you going again all right. I, I hate it when I have students. I'm in the lab and I'm trying to access this and they email me and that's great. And I'm definitely willing to help out. But if you go to Cirrus, they're there uh, online ready to help you guys uh, get going again. OK, also. For my Mac and Chromebook users, I am Mac and Chromebook illiterate. I don't have one. I don't use one. However, Cirrus provided these shortcut keys that will help you with some of the assignments uh, in order to, hey, we use the control key. Well, what do you guys use? You guys may need to use different keys. So definitely utilize this document for my Mac and my Chromebook users. I'm not much help. Uh, in that front. But this is a great document that seems, uh, whenever your students ask me, I always refer to this document. Hey, take a look at the uh, uh, Mac and Chromebook uh, tips on our homepage, and that usually helps them out. Also down here, you guys, I have recorded class lectures from classes in the past with students. So you may be hearing me having conversations with different students and going over some different things with students. All right. But I figured I would put it on our page so that way you can watch these videos uh, if you ever need any help. So, for example, word section one. Basically, I go over uh, the first couple exercises in each one of these videos to kind of get you started. So here's the video. Here's the password that you're going to want to use. Maybe copy and paste that uh, to get you going. But here are some videos to kind of get you going on these assignments. I actually work you through all of the uh, directions for exercise one and two. So that is a great resource to have as well. Uh, obviously, you're watching the orientation tutorial there. Awesome. 
activating Cirrus and Microsoft Office. So after you uh, purchase your uh, Cirrus Paradigm uh, Cirrus code, uh, you're going to want to activate that. And every time I ask my students, hey, did that video help you get it activated? Yes, I did. Yes, it did. Students will say, hey, Mr. Lang, I can't get my Cirrus activated. How do I do that? I always refer them to this video and it, they tell me, yes, that did help out. Also, again, you guys, I, I uh, teach a lot of distance uh, uh, and hybrid type of courses where I don't get to see everybody. So I created this little video, a little bit about me and my family, my things that I enjoy to do. So I don't know if you're ever bored uh, and want to check out a little bit about me and the things that I like to do, you can check out that video there. And welcome to Western Michigan University, a great university that I graduated from with my bachelor's degree in 1999 my master's degree in 2003, and I've been teaching for over 21 years now. Blows my mind how fast time goes. So let's continue on, continuing on, you guys. We're going to jump into content because this is really where you're going to be spending a lot of your time in the content area. And uh, we have some technical support information. You can always go to here, and here is Paradigm Technical Support. I also have that link on our homepage. So you know what? I may take this off of here so it doesn't get confusing. It's in one spot, but it is there now. The syllabus. So you may need to access the syllabus again. I know I have it on our homepage, but it's here. Also, we have the ebook. Now, again, the e you say, oh, Mr. Lang, you got the textbook right there. But really, it's just a resource. You really need that Cirrus activation code. We're going to come back to our getting started assignment here in just a little bit because that's going to be an assignment that's due the very first week of class. So we'll come back to that. But here is the word section one. Again, it will tell you uh, when uh, we need to have our word section one done by. Actually, I'm confused why that says April. It should say in, it should end May 21. So I'm going to take a look at that. But this will tell you when that ends. All right. This ends on the 28th. This one ends on the 28th. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Word section one. And again, I also have those Chrome and MacBook uh, or MacBook and Chrome book tips here that I have on our home page. These are the objectives that you will be working on throughout this first section. It starts off pretty elementary, but again, some of us may have opened up a Word document in a long time. So it kind of gets us back into the groove. Here's the activities that we'll complete. And down below is where you will access these uh, assessments. So word exercise one, for example, is here, two is here, so on and so forth. And you're responsible to complete all of these assignments, not just one of them, but all of these assignments for each week. When I go to word section two, same type of thing. Here is our overview, uh, our activities, and here are links to those activities. You'll be responsible to complete all of these, okay? So let's go ahead and let's say that we are going to go back to word section one and we're going to start our word section one exercise one. And while this is loading up, if you haven't activated Cirrus yet, you're going to want to. I'm going to give you our second keyword and that second keyword that you're going to use to get 30 points. Kalamazoo. Yes, there really is a Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo is the second keyword. All right, hopefully you wrote that down to help get you points. So I'm going to hit preview here, and, and yours may look a little bit different because I'm in a teacher view, you're in a student view, but you should see preview. This is actually opening up Cirrus. It's opening up their portal, and it's actually going to look just like a Word document. So we do have to be patient here. I will tell you this, sometimes, sometimes uh, it may not load. I just have to clear my cache and reload it. How do I clear my cache? Those three little dots in Chrome in the upper right hand corner hover over more tools and clear browsing data. When I click on clear browsing data, I want this to be all time. So yours may be maybe the last hour or last 24 hours. I want to clear it of all time, clear the data. I'm not going to do that right now because it will mess up what I've got going on, but you will and then try to reload it. That helps out a lot of the times. So now I'm here, it's going to kind of go through uh, some of the uh, uh, instructions here of what to do. I'm just going to go ahead and click next. We've got four things to do. You have unlimited time, unlimited attempts. You can do this assignment as many times as you need to get a 100% on it. 
You could do it one time, get 100%. You could do it five times. It's unlimited. There's no reason that we should all not get 100% in this class. You all have unlimited attempts for all of your assignments. Every single one of them. Isn't that pretty cool? All right, so what I like to do when I get into this is I like to go to full screen. So that way it makes it look like I am actually in a Word document. All right. One of the things that comes on sometimes, not all the time, is this show hide where it shows me all my spaces, all my enters and stuff like that. Uh, I wish I could turn it off. I don't know why that turns on sometimes and, and is not sometimes, but it's not going to bother me. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. But here is our directions, you guys. And they're basically asking you, hey, insert the word spectacular between the and Pacific in the first sentence below the heading white sands charters so here's the topic white sands charters we're going to look for the between the word the and pacific which is right here and you'll pretty much press your tab key spectacular and make sure you spell it right i will never win a spelling bee but you want to make sure that you spell that right because they do mark points off and i misspelled it already you want to make sure you spell it right because if you don't, they will take points off. And once you get done with that one, you're just going to go to the next one. And now you're going to be on two of four. All right. And in the paragraph following the heading, White Sands Charters, in the second sentence, delete the word humpback. Now, what if some of the directions were unclear? And for this, it's pretty clear, I would say. But when you get to Excel and access database, some of the directions, you're going to be like, wait a minute, what are they telling me? I need a little bit more information. You see this light bulb? I have put on our help or our answer key. It will then tell you what to do. Select humpback located in the second sentence in the paragraph below the heading White Sense Charter. Press the delete key. It will tell you the process. Again, when you get to Excel or Access, you're probably going to have eight or nine or ten things on the answer key, but it gives you a little bit more detail of what to do. Now, you went through that answer key and you still were a little confused. Guess what I have also enabled? The how-to video. If you click on this how-to video, it will actually load up a video and it will actually guide you through the, the process the of doing it. Now, uh, it, it started at about six or seven seconds because the first part of it was for one of four or our problem one of four this is two of four but this will guide you through oh sweet or you can even open up in a new window maybe you got dual monitors where you could put this video on one monitor and, and work on it on another monitor or you can split your windows and do it that way i'm going to exit the how-to video though after watching it oh okay now i get it again when you start getting into those more advanced features you're going to be utilizing that so a key thing use those use those uh, uh those help i use them all the time when i was going through this the first time i'm like wait a minute i read the direction wait what were they saying i needed a little bit more help so i did click the light bulb and look through it and there's times where hey i needed to click on the video to kind of see a little bit more of what they were talking about all right but i'm just going to kind of click through and three of four four of four and i'm going to check my answer now and cirrus will grade your assignment right here and now you'll be able to see what you got on it so if for some reason you didn't get a hundred percent which you're going to see here in a second dun, 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 dun. ah oh i got some wrong you can always scroll down to the bottom of your document and it will tell you, okay, I got the first one right, spectacular, I got that word right, but I didn't get the other ones, all right? And because I just clicked through them, right? You can return. You have unlimited attempts to work on this. If you return, you've already got the first one done. You don't have to redo that one. You'll have to go back to two of th four, so two of four to work on this one, three of four to work on this one, and so on or you can reset it and that will start your document completely over sometimes if things get really messed up you it, sometimes the best bet is to just start over and when you're all done you can click finished all right would you like to leave your activity open in the to browse it later that is going to be up to you i'm going to click no on this one all right and it is finished now what it doesn't do it doesn't take you back because this is now cirrus's portal 
gives me a little information there as well about the assignment. I want to close this and it brings me back to e-learning now. And I'm going to use my breadcrumbs and I'm going to click back on my end of section review. And that will bring me then just to those exercises right here that I need to complete. Now I'm going to go to two. All right, I'm 20% done. I got one of the five topics done. I'm going to go to exercise two. When I'm done with that, my skills check exam, project exam, and my end of the semester, end of the, end of the uh, project exam. All unlimited attempts. I give you the answer keys. I give you videos. You should do very well. So the exam, though, uh, you may not have those, but you can use Google. You can research things. You should all do very well on those. And again, you got unlimited attempts to take that exam. So you may notice that you have access to all of the uh, assignments. Yes, I have when those are due. However, you can always work ahead you i've had a student complete this class in two to three weeks believe it or not and that frees them up for the rest of the semester you can complete it early all right you have access to everything so at the end though of uh, on may 21st you're not going to have access to this anymore if you go and look at your grades now and say okay i'm looking at my grades and uh, uh, I see that, man, I didn't do so well on that. So here's my exercise one. I got a three out of 12, didn't do so well. I uh, got an E on it. That's not so good. Here's your overall grade in the course. Again, make sure you're taking a look at that. And let's say the, the, the assignment is done and you can't access it anymore. Uh, that link, because after the due date, again, everybody's due date is going to be different, so make sure you know when yours is, you won't be able to access this anymore. However, if you want to go and you look at your grade and say, man, I wish I could redo that, you can. The exam review, I give you access to everything in Word, section one except that last exam so four out of the five assignments you have access to after the due date and you have it here so you may look at your grade and i will put in a zero if you didn't complete that assignment during that week but you can go into here and you can do it let's say you got a five out of ten and you want to redo it later you can go to the exam review and redo it. This is what it is. It's a review for you to look at your assignments and uh, try to get a better, uh, 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 a better score on it, okay? If you get a worse score on it, it will not put that grade in the grade book. It will only put a better score in there. So here it is, the week of final exam, and you want to review real quick, and you're looking through maybe an exercise just to go through it one more time, and you got a better score on it the second time around that score will trump your worst score. But let's say you got a worst score on it. The best score stays there. I hope that makes sense. It should. All right. So uh, again, you have access to all of your assignments. A couple of the key things, resources, calendar, know when your assignments are due. All right. Know when your assignments are due. You can look at the list. Take a look at your grades quite often. Please let me know sooner than later if there's a discrepancy. So look at your grades very frequently. Your overall grade is what you got on your different parts of your assignments. Uh, let's see, also your content. That's going to be where you access all of your assignments. Very important. All right. And again, you have access to them all from the first day of class. Hey, Grab a cup of coffee and knock some of these things out. If you know you're going to be busy a certain week, get it done beforehand. All right. So getting started, you guys, this is kind of our first assignment. You don't need Cirrus. You don't need the textbook. You'll need it for the second week of the course. But this is kind of to get you going and give you some time to get that book. But introductory email, for example, this assignment I know it's small print. When you load it up, you'll be able to read it better. But again, it's asking you a little bit of information. I want to know some of those key words I give during the orientation. A little bit about you, your major, some of your professional goals. I'm going to ask you to take the networking speed test and stuff like that. And you're going to email me here. Don't forget 
what I talk about in the subject line. That is probably my number one reason why I don't give students full credit. I'll remind them, hey, did you read the directions about what to put in the subject line so I know what course you're from? So pay close attention to that. So that'll be one of your first assignments for the week. And that is worth, I think, like 30 points, I believe. Your second one is your syllabus quiz. All right, when you're ready to go, again, yours looks a little bit different than mine because I'm in a teacher kind of mode. You'll start your quiz and here will be a question. I will be available on for any questions you may have after you have contacted technical support. So what days will I be available? It will tell you in the syllabus. I can go to the next page. So I suggest to have your syllabus open side by side with you while you take this quiz. These are not unlimited. All right. You will only have one attempt to take this quiz. So again, have that syllabus open and uh, work on that while you go through uh, while you go through the syllabus quiz. With that, I have my last keyword, Godzilla. My student, my, my boys and I just went and watched Godzilla, one of our favorite movie series. So my last keyword is Godzilla. I really hope you guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this quiz. I really hope that this orientation helped you out. I'm really excited for the class. Please let me know also in your email. Hey, did this orientation help you out to kind of get you started with the class? Is there something that, and if you have another question, please let me know. I would really appreciate any questions that you have. But I really hope that this kind of will get you going in the course and answer a lot of the questions that you have. Uh, again, don't forget that first week you don't necessarily need the the Cirrus uh, access code. Uh, you'll need that for the second week, though. I promise you that. So get those books taken care of. Get those. Uh, and uh, I can't wait to work with you guys. Uh, and look at your emails. And if I send you an email, please respond to it. That's another big one that I love to uh, uh, do is if I send an email, we start a conversation. Let's talk back and forth. But have a wonderful day, you guys. I'm glad you are all my students and uh, uh, the best. Uh, oh, how, do, how do they put that? Uh, uh, if you're a small business, uh, giving a referral is the best compliment. So if you have any of your friends uh, after you take this course, hey, please refer them to my course. There's going to be a lot of teachers that teach a course and they're all great teachers. I promise you that. But I'm a little biased towards my course, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, ask your if any of your uh, 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 friends or, or neighbors or cousins or enemies uh, need to take the course. Hey, let them know a little bit about uh, to take Mr. Lang's. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Have a great day, you guys, and can't wait to uh, uh, start a relationship with all of you throughout the course. Have a great day.